Hey folks, Bob with Currency Waves. We're going to take a look at the Euro US dollar here in a sec. First, I want to show you guys the new blog. It is a subscription blog. It's Pips Positive by Currency Waves. Okay, it's going to be subscription only access to this blog. It is only $30 per month. Pretty cheap compared to what uh, some of the others see, you see out there. Um, what you will receive with your subscription is a weekly, daily, four-hour video Elliott Wave analysis on the following pairs. The Euro, the Aussie, the Pound, the Euro, Aussie, Euro, Pound, CAD, Swissy, Euro, Yen, Aussie, Yen, Pound, Yen, and Dollar, Yen. You'll also receive once per month a one-on-one -on -one training in Elliott Wave or technical analysis. And more time is available at the regular hourly rate down here of 25 bucks and you get by three hours you save 15 bucks. Again, pretty cheap. I've seen people at websites charging 125, 150 bucks an hour for that. Okay. And these sessions are recorded so you can go back and watch them after, you know, if you uh, want to review what we talked about or whatever, you can watch them over and over again. Okay, there will also be trading signals based on our current Elliott Wave analysis and our trend trading system. These will be, you'll get profit targets, stops, entries, all that stuff. And it's updated every four hours, 4 a.m., 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 8 p.m., 12 a.m., and 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm only going to have a max of 40 subscribers right now. <laughs> and that's probably where I will leave it. So, not trying to make a kill in here. Just uh, a little extra cash to cover some of my time. It takes a lot of time to put all this stuff together, do these videos. Plus, you know, I'll, you know, on a regular basis. So, I think 30 bucks is a pretty good deal. Everybody's that's watching this video has probably already seen my work. You see what I do. Um, if you haven't, there's a couple hundred videos here that you can watch. So, all right. Um, there will be a link below the video. And in the vid in this video here, where you can click to get to the positive Pips positive blog spot dot com. All right. So let's move on to the euro. Um, last week, yeah, if I can find it again, when I did the video, we were sitting about twenty eight oh six right here. And we want the bearish count we had was the ABC for A, B, and an extended C wave that was we were looking for uh, another just another five waves up here to complete this at around 29. That would have been an extended fifth wave and C equal 161.8 of A. We got that, but again, there was no follow through to the downside and it popped up. The bullish count I was showing was looking for this black three. And that's obviously what happened. If you look down here from the 2108, you know, we got one, two, three, four, five. We were looking for this to either be C or a third wave, and off it went. So we still need a four and a five down to complete this count. I have relabeled this count as well, and there's an optional bullish count here. And that count is a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five for three, triangle wave four, five for wave one of this red three here. And then this is working on a third wave. 
we're going to have a four and a five yet for this four for this red wave three before a red fourth wave and then a red five for the black three four or five so pretty bullish still see some uh, upside potential here what couple reasons I, I decided to change this is this base channel usually breaks out on a third wave you usually break out of that with the nested one twos here in this little channel on a wave three and we're also showing the most momentum on the Elliott wave oscillator right here it's the highest it's been for quite some time so I'm thinking one two working on three we should see I'm thinking we're gonna see a little higher yet here Sunday Monday before a smaller fourth wave down to go one two three four five and then another fourth wave and so on so that's the count I'm looking at on the four hour right now I think uh, any stops around 27.54 should be safe for this consolidation and continue to move higher on the larger scale on the weekly if we jump to the weekly still looking at this triangle here for this could be we could be working on a of this e this wave two I think is pretty much out it's really not invalid until we break to 3485 but obviously if it's if it completes five waves up it would be a done deal uh, the other option I showed last week but didn't label I have labeled now is ABC for A then an ABC for B and then we get a strong C wave down yet to complete this bigger B wave on the euro. Um, yeah, we could see 55 yet. If this ends up being a five ways for a wave one, we get a two shoots out of here. B waves, well, a lot of times retrace. Oops. To this 88.7. We move this over here. We have this A, A, B, C for B. It only hit the 786. Okay. On this B wave down here, if that's what this is, is at the 88.7. You see this B wave, okay, LB here, we had A. B, C came right down to the 88.7. So I would not be surprised to see that. I, out of all the counts, I guess I really prefer probably this one with the just running up to the trend line here for B and down, but long ways to go on that. Um, another thing I pointed out last week was obviously this RSI trend line break and said I was leaning heavily on the bullish side because of that and here we have it again on the monthly it would be nice to see in this correction here in this B wave the RSI come up and stall out at this trend line and then move back down and another thing if you watch my RSI video on YouTube is we have hidden divergence here between the low here, the low here. So RSI had a new low. Price did not. A lot of times that means a new high above this high. So something to watch for. All right. Again, you know, feel free to. Uh, Stop by the Pips Positive blog and subscribe. I will have a link in this video.
for you to click on and make it easier for you to get to that uh, site. So, all right, like I said, there's only going to be 40. I'm only going to, I'm going to limit it to 40 subscribers. So, thanks and have a good week.